Um, here is another video to show the versatility of the tuna can rodent coil. Um, I have uh, on, on this breadboard here. I have a jewel thief circuit, which looks like that, and it would be interesting to put a rodent coil here, um, which is easy to do with clip leads here. Um, so I have a uh, one and a half volt dry D cell. Um, powering this thing. Um, this could be any sort of one and a half volt battery and in fact nine volt batteries work as well with the um, 1k ohm. Um, I noticed that uh, when you put a nine volt battery on here the you get a uh, very high current spike and then the current uh, drops uh, lower and lower and lower um, which is kind of an interesting phenomenon. Um, anyway um, uh, this is a one-to-one -one transformer but with um, with the uh, transformer hooked up out of phase, so you see these uh, dots here, they're out of phase. Um, we have a um, spin in one direction and a spin in another direction, and they're uh, sort of uh, uh, interacting with each other. Um, so with the scope probes, I'm going to look at um, both of these uh, signals here with the dot on them. So uh, channel one is the um, 1k ohm dot and channel 2 is the um, signal uh, on the collector of the trans transistor. Um, so this is um, four super bright LEDs. Um, normally each LED would you know be you know 20 to 30 milliamps and uh, you would drive it off of a DC supply with a resistor, so the resistor would take part of that wattage and the LED, which has a voltage drop of like 1.7 volts, would take the other part of the wattage. And and that way of um, running an LED is really inefficient because you're just wait, you're just burning power in a resistor. Uh, so this Joule Thief circuit is brilliant. Um, I'm very surprised to see it work with a rodent coil. Um, here's the current draw for those four LEDs. And um, back to the waveform, um, this works out to be about uh, 15 microsecond uh, cycles. Uh, this is on uh, 5 microseconds per division, it's about 3 divisions. So that's 66.7 uh, hertz or so. And um, the amplitude of these, uh, so both of these are set to 5 volts per division, so this is uh, like um, 15 volts and peak to peak and this is like 10 volts peak to peak. Um, now if we uh, zoom in on this uh, there's an interesting uh, observation here. Right at this place um, there's a fuzzy oscillation and I'm speculating that this is sort of where the two, wa uh, two waves are um, impacting each other on the, on, the, on the coil as they spin around. Um, it's interesting that it it's kind of fuzzy. It's it's I, I can't quite explain why that would be fuzzy other than uh, the energy is different each time. Um, if I hit this invert button, we can see the wave as it as it we can sort of see this side. Uh, I'm sorry, we can sort of see this side of the transformer compared to that side. Um, so this is the sort of true phase relationship. So that fuzzy business is very interesting. It'd be I'd, I'd love to see other people replicate this and see if they also see fuzziness there. Okay, for Grins, I've brought over this 9-volt um, battery. Now, these batteries are um, um, nickel-metal hydride batteries, 8.4 uh, volts, really, and they're rechargeable. Um, now, when I hook up 
9 volts in this circuit instead of 1.5 volts. It still works. The current uh, behaves unusually though. It starts out really high, so there's a really high spike, and then it gradually starts lowering, I think to around uh, 60 mils. Um, so that's a pretty low current draw from a 9 volt battery as well. Now the waveforms have changed a little bit, uh, so I'm going to drop this down to 10 volts per division, and the uh, that fuzzy area seems to have gone away. With uh, so that might just be some scope anomaly, or I'm, I'm not sure, but with a more intense, uh, higher voltage. We don't see that. So this has been running a while and now uh, we are at 65 mils and still dropping. Um, now um, I'm wondering why it's dropping. Are we getting momentum here or what's the deal? Um, the amplitude on the lights I don't notice a change, but you know, uh, somebody would need to study that with a light meter. But um, anyway, just to pass along this experiment of using a rodent coil with a jewel thief. Uh -huh.